I am so tired. Last night I had a really good night with my pal Nate Bean. We went out on a little mandate, a little adventure to our favorite bar and restaurant. We ended up also hitting up a townie bar after that and then stopping by Brad and Sarah's house. And it has left me feeling fairly exhausted and scatterbrained and I'm going to do my best to make some sense in this video. I thought it would be interesting to sort of bring a couple older discussions back to the forefront and relate them to something that I'm doing right now. In a previous video you guys got to meet Clay who has been sort of inspirational to me in terms of my relationship with Lauren and sort of long-term fitting a relationship into my life and, and figuring out how that all works out. One of the things that I like about Clay is that he's very self-aware. He understands what it takes to sort of make things work and make his life work and make his interactions with other people worthwhile. In the basement of his house, he has a room that he keeps to himself. He refers to this room as his man cave. I may have mentioned this in a previous video. I think the man cave term is amusing and probably a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but it is important. The man cave represents something to him it represents his space. And I think that when you're in a relationship with someone, having your own territory is important. And I think that in terms of territory, there's sort of conceptual territory, and then there's physical territory. Now, I've also talked about how in this household, I don't have a whole lot of space, or we don't have a whole lot of space. Basically, everything is shared, and it can be a little chaotic trying to find space for everything that we own. Lauren and I have worked out ways to sort of share space and make it both of ours, and after seeing Clay's man cave, that sounds like a euphemism, I uh, decided that I wanted my own man cave in my apartment, and I have managed to finally establish one. Anyone who's listened to Demons at the Helm knows that I've had some deal of struggle with alcohol, and I think I've talked about it on this channel at least once or twice. Since Lauren moved in, I probably drink about 10% of what I used to drink, which is awesome. But I started thinking, you know, after seeing Clay's man cave thing, that I really like beer. Beer is a good thing, and I like good beer. So maybe like a month ago, either Nate or Brad, I can't remember who, uh, referred me to a new liquor store that opened up in Woonsocket, just about a mile away from my house. Now, Woonsocket is not known for high culture, but this liquor store is seriously, I would say, the best or maybe the second best that I've ever been to in my life. There are literally two full aisles of craft beers, microbrew stuff, stuff that I really didn't expect to be able to find in Rhode Island. A lot of stuff actually that Clay likes and that he introduced me to uh, over the course of a couple times in Portland. One of the things that Clay does is he buys like literally cases full of special things that he knows he won't be able to get and he just ages them. He keeps them in his man cave and he keeps them around for years, and when we were there last time, Justin and I were able to try a couple things that he'd been aging for literally like eight years. So I decided to dedicate a little section of our pantry to my little man cave, which currently is holding some beer that I'm going to be aging for like a year at least. And I'm excited about this, because in a way, it's kind of like taking a vice that used to hold me back and turning it into a hobby which is easy to maintain, and it's something that I feel like I can keep under control very easily. Now I'm going to show you my little man cave. So I'd like you guys to comment on this video and tell me, what's your space? What's your little section of the world that nobody else really has access to? What do you use it for, and why is it important to you? Stefan Monica, I will see you tomorrow, and I will see you next week. At some point next week, Patrick, Steph, Monica, and I will all be in the same place. That is exciting, and I cannot wait. I'm sure we'll have some collab videos for you guys next week.